In the dance of partnership, few steps are as intricate and vital as managing finances together. It's a theme as old as time, yet each couple faces the unique challenge of harmonizing their financial goals and habits. Let's embark on a journey through the art of managing finances in a partnership, drawing inspiration from ancient wisdom and modern anecdotes, all while navigating the emotional and practical aspects of this endeavor. Understanding Human Nature At the heart of managing finances in a partnership is understanding each other's nature. Just as Giguzzi emphasizes the importance of grasping human behavior and motivations, couples must seek to understand their partner's financial upbringing, fears, and aspirations. It's like uncovering the layers of an onion. Beneath each layer lies deeper insights into why we view and manage money the way we do. This understanding is the foundation upon which a couple can build a shared financial vision. Mastery of Speech Communication, as taught by the ancient text, is pivotal. Discussing finances might not be as thrilling as planning a vacation, but it's equally, if not more, significant. Couples should strive for transparency and regular financial check-ins. The mastery here lies in how the conversation is approached. Couples should adopt a tone of curiosity and support, rather than accusation or judgment. Utilization of rhetorical techniques the art of persuasion can be beneficial when aligning on financial goals. Whether it's convincing a partner to start saving for retirement or discussing investment options, the way arguments are framed matters greatly. An appeal to logic might work for some, while others might be more moved by emotional or ethical considerations. Here, the wisdom of Giguzzi on employing diverse rhetorical strategies can help tailor the message in a way that resonates. Discernment between truth and falsehood in finances, as in life, honesty is paramount. This doesn't merely mean not lying about purchases or debts, but also entails being honest with oneself and each other about financial capabilities and limitations. It's about distinguishing between needs and wants, and between realistic financial plans and wishful thinking. Role of Emotions Money can stir up strong emotions. Fear, shame, and pride often rear their heads during financial discussions. Recognizing and addressing these emotions is crucial. Just as Giguzzi teaches the importance of understanding and appealing to emotional states, acknowledging the feelings that money matters evoke can lead to more empathetic and productive conversations. Adaptability in communication. Each partner may have different financial knowledge and perspectives. The ability to adapt communication styles and financial strategies to meet each other halfway is a testament to a couple's teamwork. Flexibility and compromise are key, whether it's about budgeting methods, spending habits, or investment choices. Integration of real-life samples Consider the story of Alex and Jordan, a couple who overcame their financial disparities by setting monthly finance dates to review their budget, discuss upcoming expenses, and celebrate financial milestones. This real-life example illustrates how open dialogue and shared financial goals can strengthen a partnership. Skillful Deployment of Idioms In managing finances together, keeping your eye on the ball is critical. It's easy to get sidetracked by short-term desires, but focusing on long-term financial health is what ensures the ship sails smoothly. In conclusion, managing finances in a partnership is a complex but rewarding journey. It requires understanding, communication, honesty, and adaptability. Inspired by the teachings of Giguzzi and flavored with the charm of a master raconteur, the narrative of financial management in a partnership is one of growth, love, and mutual success. Just as every story has a beginning, middle, and end, so does the financial journey of a couple, starting with understanding, moving through planning and action, and culminating in the achievement of shared dreams. In the heart of a bustling city, where the neon lights flicker with promises yet to be fulfilled and the cacophony of urban life never seems to wane, there lived a man named Alex. Alex, much like the city he called home, was a kaleidoscope of dreams, aspirations, and the relentless pursuit of happiness. However, amidst the hustle and bustle of his daily grind, he found himself grappling with a modern-day conundrum that seemed all too common, the challenge of maintaining genuine connections in an age dominated by digital interactions. 
As a master raconteur, I've always been fascinated by the intricate dance of human emotions and relationships. And so, Alex's story, a vivid tapestry of triumphs and trials, piqued my curiosity. It's a narrative that not only delves into the heart of human connection, but also mirrors the teachings of an ancient Chinese philosophy that I've come to admire, Giguzi. In the world of Giguzi, understanding human nature is paramount. Alex, in his quest for connection, realized that the digital facades we often hide behind can obscure the essence of our true selves. He pondered on the complexity of human behavior and motivations, recognizing that to forge deeper connections, he needed to peel away the layers of digital anonymity and engage in more meaningful, face-to-face -face interactions. This realization led Alex to master the art of speech, a skill heavily emphasized in Giguzi. He understood that different contexts required different modes of expression. In an era where text messages and emails are the norms, Alex chose instead to revive the almost forgotten art of conversation. He sought out opportunities to engage with friends, family, and even strangers, not behind a screen, but in the flesh, where words carry the weight of emotion and sincerity. The teachings of Giguzi also highlight the importance of rhetorical techniques, and Alex became adept at employing these strategies. He learned to sway opinions not through argumentation, but through empathy, understanding, and emotional connection. He realized that persuasion, in its most authentic form, comes from a place of genuine interest and concern for the other person. Discernment between truth and falsehood is another cornerstone of Giguzi's philosophy. In his interactions, Alex strived to be authentic, shedding any pretense or facade. This authenticity helped him differentiate between superficial connections and those that were genuine and worth nurturing. Emotions, as Giguzi teaches, play a pivotal role in persuasion and connection. Alex learned to navigate his own emotions and those of others with grace and understanding. He recognized that acknowledging and validating emotions could bridge gaps and mend fences, rekindling connections that had been strained or neglected. Finally, adaptability in communication proved to be a crucial skill for Alex. He understood that each person and situation was unique, and a one-size-fits-all approach to communication was futile. By tailoring his approach, being flexible in his interactions, and always willing to listen, Alex found that he was able to connect on a deeper level with those around him. Alex's journey, inspired by the ancient wisdom of Giguzi, is a testament to the power of genuine human connection in a digital age. It serves as a reminder that despite the convenience of technology, the essence of human connection lies in our ability to understand, empathize, and engage with one another on a personal level. In weaving idioms through this story, such as the kaleidoscope of dreams and peel away the layers, and integrating real-life samples like Alex's experiences, I aim to enrich the narrative and add depth, illustrating that the art of connection, though challenging in modern times, is not only possible but profoundly rewarding. As we navigate the modern landscape of relationships, let us take a leaf out of Alex's book and strive to rekindle connections that transcend digital barriers, fostering genuine, heartfelt interactions that stand the test of time. In the soft glow of the setting sun, two souls found themselves entangled not just by fate, but by the unspoken truths of the heart. This tale, inspired by the ancient wisdom of Giguzi and the charm of late-night storytelling, embarks on a journey exploring the essence of love beyond the confines of material gains. Once upon a modern age, in a city where skyscrapers brushed the heavens, lived Alex, a young entrepreneur whose success was as vast as the ocean. With wealth beyond measure, Alex's life was a testament to the dreams many dared not even whisper. However, amidst the glittering lights and echoing laughter, a void lingered, a yearning for a connection not bound by the tangible. Enter Jamie, a soul as radiant as the moon, whose riches lay in kindness and a heart brimming with love. Jamie's world was far removed from the opulence of Alex's, yet their paths crossed, as if guided by the unseen threads of destiny. Their first encounter was nothing short of a scene from a classic rom-com, where accidental coffee spills led to laughter and shared confidences. However, it was their ensuing conversations that wove the fabric of their bond. Alex, armed with the art of persuasion as taught by Giguzi, understood the importance of understanding human nature. 
This knowledge allowed Alex to see beyond Jamie's modest exterior, recognizing a kindred spirit. Jamie, on the other hand, embodied the teachings of Gaguzi through mastery of speech and emotional intelligence. Conversations flowed like a melody, with Jamie's words touching upon the chords of Alex's heart, revealing the depths of sincerity and the purity of intentions. As their relationship blossomed, the pair navigated through the complexities of a world where material wealth often overshadowed the treasures of the heart. Alex, accustomed to the language of affluence, found in Jamie's presence a sanctuary where emotions were the currency of exchange. Through Jamie, Alex discovered the beauty and simplicity, the richness of genuine laughter, and the invaluable worth of companionship. Jamie, meanwhile, was introduced to a world where opportunities seemed boundless. Yet, it was Alex's vulnerability and earnest quest for emotional fulfillment that enriched Jamie's understanding of true wealth. Together, they exemplified the ideal blend of Gaguzi's teachings, where understanding, adaptability, and emotional resonance paved the way for a love unmarred by material desires. Their narrative, interspersed with idioms like not all that glitters is gold and real-life samples of couples thriving on emotional wealth, served as a testament to love's power to transcend material bounds. In their story, the adage the best things in life are free found its truest expression. In a world often blinded by the pursuit of material gains, Alex and Jamie's tale is a beacon of hope. It serves as a reminder that wealth, in its most enduring form, is found in the connections we forge and the love we share. Their journey, marked by the skillful application of ancient wisdom and modern romance, highlights the essence of understanding love beyond material gains. As the moon takes its place in the night sky, casting a silvery glow upon a world chasing after fleeting desires, let us remember the timeless teachings of Gaguzi. For in understanding the intricacies of human nature and mastering the art of heartfelt communication, we too can uncover the true wealth of love and worth beyond measure. In the realm of human emotions, love holds a place of mystique and profound importance. Often seen as the ultimate journey of discovery and connection between two souls, it is a topic that has been explored, dissected, and celebrated through the ages. Yet it remains an evergreen subject, perennially fresh and infinitely complex. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, coupled with modern-day anecdotes, we embark on a narrative exploration of cultivating depth in relationships, a quest that is as rewarding as it is challenging. Understanding human nature is the cornerstone of deepening any relationship. Gaguzi teaches us that by comprehending the multifaceted dimensions of our partner's personality, desires, and fears, we can create a foundation of empathy and understanding. This is not a journey for the faint-hearted. It requires patience, attentiveness, and the willingness to venture into the depths of another's soul. Consider the story of Anna and Marco, a couple who, after years of marriage, found themselves drifting apart, lost in the routine of daily life. It was only when they began to truly listen to each other, sharing their innermost thoughts and fears, that they rediscovered the depth of their love. Like a carefully tended garden, their relationship blossomed anew, richer and more vibrant than before. Mastery of speech, as advocated by Gaguzi, plays a pivotal role in cultivating depth in relationships. The way we communicate, the words we choose, and the timing of our expressions can either build bridges or walls between us. In the age of digital communication, where words on a screen often replace face-to-face -face interactions, the art of meaningful conversation becomes even more critical. Emulating the empathetic and engaging style of late-night show hosts like Jimmy Kimmel, we can learn to infuse our conversations with warmth, humor, and sincerity. This approach not only endears us to our partner, but also fosters an environment where deep, meaningful exchanges can flourish. The utilization of rhetorical techniques and persuasion, as taught by Gaguzi, can also be applied to nurturing relationships. Emotional appeals, when used judiciously, can strengthen the bond between partners. For instance, sharing personal stories of vulnerability or displaying genuine compassion during times of distress can significantly enhance emotional intimacy. However, it is essential to strike a delicate balance, ensuring that our appeals are rooted in authenticity rather than manipulation. 
Discernment between truth and falsehood is another critical aspect. In an era where superficiality often masks reality, being able to trust and rely on the honesty of our partner is paramount. This trust is built over time, through consistent actions and open communication. It is the bedrock upon which lasting love is built, allowing couples to navigate the storms of life with confidence in each other's integrity. The role of emotions in persuasion is particularly relevant in the context of relationships. Giguzzi emphasizes the importance of understanding and appealing to the emotional states of others. In love, this means being attuned to our partner's emotional needs and responding with empathy and support. Whether it's through a simple act of kindness, a thoughtful gesture, or just being there to listen. Recognizing and validating our partner's emotions can deepen the connection immeasurably. Lastly, adaptability in communication is key. Just as Biguzi teaches flexibility and persuasion, so too must we be flexible in our relationships. Understanding that our partner's needs and our own may evolve over time allows us to adapt our communication style. Ensuring that the connection remains strong and vibrant. In conclusion, cultivating depth in a relationship is an art, one that requires understanding, communication, trust, and flexibility. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Giguzi and integrating it with the richness of real life experiences. We find that the path to lasting love is both a challenge and a profound reward. Like the masterful tales spun by a seasoned raconteur, the journey of love is a narrative of continuous discovery, growth, and deepening connection. In the tapestry of life, relationships serve as the vibrant threads that add color and texture to our existence. The art of nurturing a relationship, particularly the bond of love, is akin to gardening. It requires patience, understanding, and continuous effort to bloom beautifully. Drawing upon ancient wisdom and modern insights, let's embark on a journey to explore strategies for growing in love, a narrative that weaves together the teachings of Gaguzi with the threads of real-life examples and idiomatic wisdom. At the heart of every flourishing relationship lies a deep understanding of human nature. Giguzi, an ancient Chinese philosopher, posited that to influence and connect deeply with another, one must first understand their motivations, desires, and fears. In the context of love, this means listening with an open heart, observing without judgment, and embracing the unique complexities of your partner. Like the idiom walking a mile in their shoes, empathy allows us to see the world from our partner's perspective, nurturing a bond grounded in mutual understanding. Communication is the water that nourishes the garden of love, essential for its growth and vitality. Giguzi emphasized the importance of mastering speech, adapting our words and tone to suit the moment. In love, this translates to expressing affection and appreciation, articulating needs and desires clearly, and addressing conflicts with kindness and respect. Through the adept use of language, we can build bridges of understanding, ensuring that our words act as bomb rather than barbs. Persuasion, when used ethically, serves as the fertilizer that encourages growth in a relationship. Employing rhetorical techniques such as storytelling, metaphor, and emotional appeals can enrich conversations and deepen connections. For instance, sharing personal anecdotes can illustrate vulnerabilities, fostering intimacy and trust. By appealing to the heart as well as the mind, we can motivate positive change and inspire mutual growth. In the journey of love, honesty acts as the pruning shears that trim away deceit, allowing trust to flourish. Giguzzi's teachings on discerning truth from falsehood remind us of the importance of transparency in relationships. Being honest about our feelings, aspirations, and challenges, even when it's uncomfortable, lays the groundwork for a relationship built on authenticity and mutual respect. Emotions are the sunlight essential for the garden of love to thrive. Giguzzi stressed the significance of understanding and appealing to emotions. Celebrating joys together, offering comfort in times of sorrow, and sharing in the spectrum of human experience strengthens the emotional bond between partners. By acknowledging and validating each other's feelings, we cultivate an environment where love can flourish unimpeded. Finally, adaptability in communication is the rich soil that supports all growth in a relationship. 
recognizing that people and circumstances change, and being willing to adjust our communication style and strategies is key to sustaining love over time. Whether it's adopting new ways to show affection, finding novel solutions to challenges, or simply being there in the ways that matter most, flexibility ensures that the relationship can withstand the tests of time and change. In weaving together these ancient and modern threads, we discover a tapestry rich with the hues of understanding, communication, honesty, emotional depth, and adaptability. Real-life examples abound, from couples who have navigated the challenges of long-distance relationships through open and honest communication, to partners who have rekindled their love by adapting to new life phases with grace and understanding. These stories, enriched with idiomatic expressions that capture the essence of love's challenges and triumphs, offer a blueprint for growing in love. As we close this narrative journey, let us remember that the strategies for growing in love, like the art of storytelling, require creativity, patience, and a willingness to evolve. By applying the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi and embracing the lessons embedded in our own experiences, we can cultivate a love that grows ever more vibrant and fulfilling. In the realm of relationships, conflicts are as inevitable as the setting sun. Yet, within these moments of discord lies a potential goldmine for strengthening bonds, a concept not far removed from the ancient Chinese philosophy of Gaguzi, which posits that understanding human nature and mastering the art of communication can turn even the most treacherous waters into pathways for connection. As we delve into the art of transforming conflicts into opportunities for love, we find ourselves weaving through the teachings of Gaguzi, enriched with modern-day anecdotes and idiomatic wisdom, to create a narrative that not only entertains, but enlightens. At the heart of every conflict lies a misunderstanding, a miscommunication, or a clash of expectations, elements deeply rooted in the complexities of human behavior. Just as Gaguzi teaches the importance of understanding human nature, we find that the first step in turning conflicts into opportunities is to genuinely strive to understand the other person's perspective. It's like walking a mile in their shoes, only then can you truly know where it pinches. This endeavor requires not just listening to respond, but listening to understand, a mastery of speech where silence becomes as powerful as the spoken word. Consider the tale of Emily and Alex, a couple who found themselves at loggerheads over their weekend plans. Emily, an avid nature lover, yearned for a quiet weekend away in the mountains, while Alex, a social butterfly, preferred the hustle and bustle of city life. Their conflicting desires led to a heated exchange, with each party steadfast in their stance. However, recalling the Gaguzi principle of utilizing rhetorical techniques, Emily chose to approach the situation differently. Instead of insisting on her preference, she appealed to Alex's love for photography, suggesting that the mountains might offer him unique landscapes to capture. By doing so, Emily not only presented a logical argument, but also tapped into Alex's emotions, showcasing adaptability in communication. This story highlights another Gaguzi teaching, the role of emotions in persuasion. By aligning her proposal with Alex's interests, Emily not only diffused the conflict, but also created an opportunity for them to connect on a deeper level. It's akin to finding the silver lining in every dark cloud, or, as the idiom goes, making lemonade when life gives you lemons. Moreover, the discernment between truth and falsehood comes into play when navigating conflicts. In the heat of an argument, it's easy to get lost in the maze of words and emotions where truths can be stretched and falsehoods can masquerade as facts. Here, the wisdom of Gaguzi urges us to seek the truth with a clear mind and heart, ensuring that our responses are grounded in reality and not in the heat of the moment. As we integrate these principles into our daily interactions, we begin to see conflicts not as battlegrounds, but as classrooms where lessons in love, understanding, and empathy are taught. Real-life examples abound, from the couple who learns to find common ground in their differences to the friends who use their misunderstandings as stepping stones to a stronger friendship. In crafting tales of conflict transformation, we're reminded of the power of idioms to enrich our narrative. Phrases like turning the tide or bridging the gap not only add depth, but also resonate with the reader's emotional and cultural sensibilities, making the stories more relatable and impactful.
In conclusion, the teachings of Giguzi, when applied to the art of turning conflicts into opportunities for love, provide us with a blueprint for navigating the complexities of human relationships. By understanding human nature, mastering the art of communication, and appealing to emotions, we can transform potential discord into harmonious connections. As we tread this path, we're reminded of the importance of adaptability, truth-seeking, and empathy, qualities that not only enrich our relationships but also our lives. In every conflict lies an opportunity, it's up to us to find it. In the quiet luminescence of dawn, when the world whispers secrets to those willing to listen, there lies a tale of two hearts intertwined by the most unexpected of threads, wellness. It's a narrative that dances on the tips of tongues, but finds its essence buried deep within the ancient wisdom of Giguzi, where understanding human nature and the mastery of speech converge to tell a story not just of health, but of love. Our journey begins with Emily, a spirited soul whose laughter could light up the darkest of rooms. Emily believed in the power of wellness, not just as a regimen, but as a way of life. Her days were punctuated with morning jogs, where the crisp air played with her hair, and evenings spent under the stars, meditating to the symphony of the night. Wellness, to Emily, was a treasure chest of joy, and she held the map. Enter Alex, a kindred spirit, but one whose map had long been forgotten, buried under the weight of unending work and a lifestyle that left little room for health. Alex's life was a canvas painted in hues of stress and sleepless nights, a stark contrast to the vibrant palette of Emily's world. Their paths crossed one serendipitous evening, under the very stars that Emily so adored. The connection was immediate, palpable, a spark that ignited a conversation weaving through the intricacies of wellness and its impact on life's canvas. Emily spoke with the eloquence of a master storyteller, her narrative imbued with idioms that painted pictures in the air, as fit as a fiddle, she said, her eyes sparkling, is not just about the body, but the heart and soul as well. Alex listened, captivated, as Emily wove Giguzi's ancient wisdom into her tale. She spoke of understanding human nature, of how the journey to wellness begins with knowing oneself, and then, others. It's like finding the rhythm in the chaos, she mused, a melody that guides you to a harmony within. The mastery of speech, Emily explained, was akin to choosing the right ingredients for a nourishing meal. Words have power, they can heal or hurt, build up or break down. In love, as in wellness, choosing them wisely makes all the difference. As the night deepened, Emily shared stories of her adventures, of mountains climbed and oceans crossed, each a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. These were not just tales of physical endeavors, but of emotional journeys, real-life samples that resonated with Alex's own yearnings for a life more fulfilling. The discernment between truth and falsehood, Emily noted, was crucial on this path. In wellness, as in love, honesty is the foundation. It's about being true to yourself and to each other, recognizing what nourishes and what depletes. Emotions, she continued, were the currents that propelled the ship. Understanding and appealing to emotions, our own and others, is what draws us closer, creating a bond that is as deep as it is strong. Flexibility, the final piece of the puzzle, was about adaptation, about tailoring one's approach to wellness and love, understanding that each journey is unique. It's about bending, not breaking, Emily said, a smile in her voice, finding your flow in the river of life. As dawn gave way to day, Alex found himself at the precipice of a new beginning, a narrative reshaped by the wisdom of ancient teachings and the warmth of a shared connection. In wellness, Alex saw not just the key to a healthier life, but the doorway to a love that was as enriching as it was genuine. From health to heart, the journey was a tapestry of lessons learned and bonds forged, a reminder that in the pursuit of wellness lies the essence of love. And as Emily and Alex discovered, it's a tale not just of transformation but of transcendence, a story that begins with self but ultimately leads to the union of souls. In the bustling marketplace of human interaction, a unique form of currency circulates, often unnoticed but invaluable. This currency, unlike the tangible dollars and cents, trades in the intangible, in emotions, kindness, and understanding. Welcome to the love economy, 
where the wealthiest are those who invest wisely in their emotional bank accounts, reaping dividends of lasting relationships and deep connections. At the heart of the love economy is a profound understanding of human nature, a concept so eloquently explored in the ancient teachings of Gaguzi. Humans, at their core, are emotional beings, driven by desires and fears, joys and sorrows. To navigate this economy successfully, one must first understand the complex nature of human emotions, a skill that separates the truly wealthy from those merely pretending. Communication is the currency of the love economy. How we express our thoughts, our feelings, and our desires plays a crucial role in the value of our emotional bank accounts. Just as a masterful trader knows when to buy or sell, a master communicator knows when to speak words of comfort, when to offer silence, and when to articulate love. This mastery of speech is not about manipulation but about genuine connection, about finding the right words at the right time to forge bonds that last a lifetime. The teachings of Gaguzi emphasize the power of rhetorical techniques in persuasion and influence. In the love economy, these techniques are used not for deceit or coercion, but to deepen understanding and empathy. The art of storytelling, the use of metaphors, and the skillful conveyance of emotions can all enhance our emotional transactions, making our interactions richer and more meaningful. In any economy, trust is paramount. The love economy thrives on authenticity and integrity. The ability to discern between truth and falsehood is not only critical for navigating one's own path, but also for advising others on their emotional investments. In relationships, as in finance, honesty pays dividends, building a foundation of trust that can weather any storm. Emotions are the stock and trade of the love economy. Understanding and appealing to the emotional states of others is a skill that yields immense rewards. By empathizing with others, by sharing in their joys and shouldering their sorrows, we make deposits into our emotional bank accounts that far exceed the value of any material wealth. The love economy is ever-changing, and its successful navigators are those who can adapt their communication strategies to meet the needs of the moment. Whether it's offering support during a crisis or celebrating a joyous milestone, the ability to tailor one's approach to the individual and the situation is invaluable. This adaptability ensures that our emotional investments are always timely, always appreciated. The stories of the love economy are as diverse as humanity itself. Consider the tale of a young couple navigating the challenges of a long-distance relationship. Through daily texts, weekly video calls, and monthly letters, they keep their emotional bank accounts flush, each communication a deposit of love and commitment. Or the story of a community rallying around a family in need, each act of kindness a testament to the wealth of compassion that exists when people invest in each other's well-being. The love economy may not be recognized on Wall Street, but its impact is felt in the hearts and homes of those who participate in it. By investing in our emotional bank accounts, by understanding and valuing the currency of human connection, we can all become richer in the ways that truly matter. In the dim light of the early morning, as the city still slumbers and the first rays of sunlight shyly peek over the horizon, there's a subtle magic that begins to unfold in the homes of those dreamers and doers who believe in the power of unity. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey the tale of two hearts beating as one, not just in love, but in the pursuit of financial freedom and empire building. This narrative, deeply rooted in the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, is a testament to the power of partnership, persuasion, and shared dreams. Imagine this, two individuals, each with their own aspirations and dreams, decide to not only share their lives, but to share a vision. A vision of financial independence, of building something that stands the test of time, something that not only brings wealth, but also prosperity and fulfillment to others. This isn't just any love story, it's a blueprint for building financial empires together. Understanding human nature, the foundation of any partnership, especially one that aims to conquer financial realms, lies in understanding each other deeply. Like Gaguzi teaches, understanding human nature is key to persuasion and influence. For our power couple, it means recognizing each other's strengths, weaknesses, motivations, and fears. It's about leveraging these insights to push each other forward, to motivate and to inspire. 
Mastery of speech, communication is the golden thread that binds this partnership. They've mastered the art of speaking the same financial language, even if their dialects, their personal experiences and expertise are different. They use this mastery to not only align their goals, but also to navigate the choppy waters of investment strategies, budget meetings, and financial planning with grace and understanding. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, our couple uses emotional appeals to stay connected to their why, their reason for embarking on this journey. Logical argumentation helps them make sound investment choices, and ethical considerations ensure that their empire is built on solid, moral foundations. They persuade not only each other, but also potential investors, partners, and customers, drawing them into their vision with compelling narratives of future success. Discernment between truth and falsehood in the world of finance, not everything that glitters is gold. Our couple knows this all too well. They've honed their ability to sift through opportunities, identifying genuine prospects from fleeting mirages. This discernment protects their empire from the pitfalls of deceit and ensures that their investments and efforts yield genuine, lasting results. Role of Emotions Emotions are the fuel that drives this partnership. Joy, fear, excitement, and even disappointment are all part of the journey. Understanding and respecting the role of emotions in decision-making has helped our couple stay connected and resilient in the face of challenges. Adaptability in communication, as they navigate the ever-changing landscape of the financial world, our couple remains flexible and adaptable. They understand that the same approach won't work for every situation or every investment. This adaptability has been crucial in overcoming obstacles and seizing opportunities that others might miss. Real-life couples have exemplified these principles, turning their shared dreams into empires. Take the story of a couple who started a small online bookstore from their garage. Through understanding, communication, and adaptability, they turned that bookstore into one of the largest e-commerce platforms in the world. Or the tale of two partners who, understanding the potential of technology, co-founded a company that would become synonymous with innovation and change the way we live our lives. As we draw the curtains on this narrative, let's remember that building financial empires as a couple isn't just about the wealth amassed. It's about the journey, the shared dreams, and the indomitable spirit of partnership. It's about leveraging the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, understanding the power of persuasion, communication, and emotional connection. So, to all the dreamers and doers out there, remember, together, you can build not just a financial empire, but a legacy that will endure for generations to come. In the bustling world we inhabit, where every tick of the clock is a reminder of the inexorable march of time, the stories we share and the connections we foster are the bastions against the encroaching solitude. Tonight, I invite you on a journey, a tale that intertwines the essence of heart with the vitality of health, demonstrating how nurturing one can be the key to flourishing the other. In the annals of ancient wisdom, the teachings of Gaguzi stand as a testament to the power of understanding human nature and the art of persuasion. It's a philosophy that, when applied to our personal lives, particularly in the realms of love and wellness, can yield transformative outcomes. At the core of this narrative is a simple truth, the wellness of our heart is intrinsically linked to the health of our body and mind. Consider for a moment the modern-day couple, Emma and Alex, two souls entwined by love yet besieged by the rigors of life's incessant demands. Emma, a fervent advocate for holistic wellness, found herself at odds with Alex's laissez-faire attitude towards health. It was a classic case of an irresistible force meeting an immovable object. Or was it? Drawing upon the wisdom of Gaguzi, Emma embarked on a subtle yet profound campaign to sway Alex's perspective. She understood that to persuade Alex, she needed to appeal to his emotions and tailor her approach, showcasing the undeniable connection between his well-being and their happiness as a couple. She began by integrating healthful habits into their daily routines, using the mastery of speech to highlight the benefits without preaching. Did you know, she would often start sharing intriguing facts about nutrition and exercise, using real-life examples of couples who transformed their lives through shared wellness goals. Her stories were not just tales of transformation, but resonated with the warmth and humor of late-night show banter, making each lesson a joy rather than a chore. 
As weeks turned into months, Alex began to see the truth in Emma's gentle persuasions. He noticed the changes not just in his physical health, but in the depth of their connection. The shared goals and mutual support fostered a new level of intimacy, transforming their relationship into a bastion of strength and wellness. This narrative, while simple, encapsulates the essence of nurturing love through wellness. It's a tale that underscores the importance of adaptability in communication, the role of emotions in persuasion, and the profound impact of shared health goals on a relationship. In closing, let us remember that the journey to wellness is not just a solitary path, but a shared voyage. By understanding the intricacies of human nature and employing strategic communication, we can foster deeper connections and nurture love. So, as we tread this path, let us weave the teachings of Giguzi into our narratives, enriching our relationships and our lives with the enduring strength of heart and health. And with that, dear listeners, our tale for tonight draws to a close. May it inspire you to reflect on the wellness of your heart and the health of your body, for in nurturing one, we invariably nurture the other.